let's go ahead and try a more difficult example here. Let's say I want to convert 87 centimeters to feet. Now the reason why this one is a little bit more difficult is because I don't know how many centimeters equals how many feet. If I look at my conversion chart that we were given, it does not tell me how to convert centimeters to feet. It tells me how to convert centimeters to inches, and it tells me how to convert meters to feet. Now, I can convert inches to feet very easily, and I can convert uh, centimeters to meters very easily, so I could do either one of these and do it, but the point is it will require an extra step. And so I'm going to go from centimeters to inches and then inches to feet. So why is this so important? Well, what I can do is I can do dimensional analysis actually twice here. And so I'm going to say that one inch equals 2.54 centimeters. But I'm also going to say that 12 inches equals one foot. I'm going to start by converting from centimeters to inches. And so what is my given measurement? Well, my given measurement is 87 centimeters. And what are my desired units? Well, the first thing I want to do is I want to convert it to inches. And so I'll put inches on top, and my given units were centimeters, and so I'll put those on bottom. And I know that one inch equals 2.54 centimeters. And if I take the time to plug this into my handy dandy calculator, I can say that, well, 87 times 1 is 87 divided by 2.54 gives me 34. So I write equals 34.25, and of course, centimeters cancels out because it's on top and on bottom. I'm left with inches. So now, my given measurement is inches, and I want to convert that to feet. And so I'm going to do dimensional analysis one more time. I'm going to say, well, my desired units are feet, and my given units are inches. And I know that one foot is equal to 12 inches. And so I do it one more time. I'm going to multiply this by 1. And then I'm going to divide it by 12. And what do I get? Well, I get 2.85. I'm going to round that to 2.9 feet because inches cancels out. Now, what's really cool about dimensional analysis is we can actually skip the middleman. What I can do is I don't have to put this equal sign and put this middle number here in the middle. I can just write out my two conversion rates multiplied by my original given measurement. So let's try that out. Let's take our original measurement, 87 centimeters, and let's multiply it by our first conversion rate, which were my desired units were inches, and my given units were centimeters. We put 1 on top and 2.54 on bottom. Then I'm going to immediately multiply that by my other conversion rate, which is also equal to 1. So from inches, I want to go to feet. And so my desired units now are feet, and my given units are inches. And I can say 1 foot is equal to 12 inches. And so what I can do is I can type this into my handy-dandy calculator. I can say, let me clear this out. I can say 87 times 1 over 2.54 times 1 over 12. And if you look, I get the exact same answer as before. I get equals 2.9. And if we look, centimeters are still on top, and inches are and on bottom, and inches are on top and bottom. 
So what are we left with? Well, our units are clearly feet. And so this is for more advanced students this way of cutting out the middleman and just going all in one step. But it still works to go step by step if you prefer. Either way, you will get the same answer. Let's try one more example like that. Let's say I want to go from 17 kilograms to question mark milligrams. Well, I don't know how many milligrams are in a kilogram. If we take the second to look at our conversion chart, I know that a kilogram is a thousand grams, and I know that, well, one gram is 0 0.001 milligrams, or in other words, a thousand milligrams is one gram. And so we can take the time to write that out for ourselves. I can say, well, one kilogram is equal to a thousand grams. And so I know how to convert kilograms to grams. And I know that one gram is equal to a thousand milligrams. With this in mind, I can just do dimensional analysis and just take it two steps at a time. I can go from kilograms to grams to milligrams. So we take a second to plug this in. What is our original given measurement? Well, that's 17 kilograms. And what is the first thing we're trying to convert it to? Grams. And so we make our conversion chart, or make our conversion rate, I'm sorry. On top, we put our desired measurement, our desired units is grams. On bottom, we put our given units, which is kilograms, and we need to set these equal. I know 1,000 grams is equal to 1 kilogram. From here, I want to convert it from grams to milligrams. And so what are my desired units? Well, milligrams. And what are my given units? Well, in this case, I'm starting with grams because kilograms cancel out. So I put grams on bottom. Now, I know that one gram is equal to 1,000 milligrams. And so how do I do this? Well, I notice that grams also cancel out. So I know whatever my answer is is going to be in milligrams. And we say, well, what is 17 times 1,000 divided by 1 won't change it? but we just multiply by 1,000 a second time. And again, dividing by one here won't change anything. And what do we get? We get equals 17 million milligrams is equal to 17 kilograms.